Starting the load for the game. Let's get some tunage. What is going on, OG? How you doing, bro? Hope all is well. Exactly, you're first. Fucking fantastic, bro. First time ever making it one year without having a seizure, a grand mal seizure. And, uh, we're gonna fucking hang out with some homies today and play some games. It'll be a good time. Kill all targets. Go. Hell yeah, that's what I want to hear. Fucking A, hey, bro. We're going to be, uh, later on, we're going to be playing a game that's on the internet. Like, you can just get through it through Chrome or uh, Internet Explorer or whatever you use. And it's free to play. 
so we're gonna try to get as many people in on it as possible. That'll probably be around like four or five o'clock my time. It's 12.30 right now. It might be later than that. It really all depends on when we can get people in. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ooh. Oh, you want to get like that? Oh, but I thought you wanted to play. I thought you wanted to play, bro. My aim's shit, and I was still fucking all, all over you. We got this guy. Ah, oh, good shoot. No, we're not going to play any of that music. We're going to play our stream safe shit. Hell yeah, homie, congrats to your health. Just stopped and say what's up. AB Dub, hope you can make it later. We're going to be playing some fucking free-to-play games that you can get to on your Internet Explorer or whatever you use, your internet browser. So hopefully you get in on those later. We'll be playing fucking all day today. I appreciate you coming in and saying what's up. Tried some Mexican Coke. It was delicious. Videos up on TikTok. <laughs> That's why the stream started late because I had to record that video. I've. I think it's called Drawful. Hold on, I, I'll have to look it up. There's multiple different games that we can play. If it got imported, I had to split the dinner with I can not afford it. Got me down to the final quarter. Now I'm cooking with the gas. Yeah, I'm heating up. We can do uh there's one called Marbles on Stream. And it it'll uh it takes all the viewers. Like you have to go to a thing and like enter and sign up. But everyone who signs up is a different marble and there's a bunch of different tracks you can write sign. That'll be a fun one. We could do that one for a little bit too. Do some marble races. Oh yeah, homie, I'll be checking in. I appreciate you, bro. Hope you have a great rest of your Friday. What the fuck is this bot doing? I think I heard a thing. I'm not even wearing a watch, dude. Enemy UAV active! I'm about to wreck it on the interstate. Yeah, I like that, Mark. Here's to another one, yup. I appreciate you dropping in and saying what's up. We're just hanging out. Uh, we're going to be playing a bunch of different games today. 
we're gonna finish uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I, Cause I was gonna play that yesterday, but I looked it up and I only have like two missions left to do. So I was like, yeah, we'll save that for uh, Friday. So that'll probably take an hour or two. But it'll be a good time, man. Got a bunch of different, we're gonna be playing some games with the community later on. You guys can uh, play for free through your internet browsers. It's gonna be a lot of fun, dude. It's gonna be a good time. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Saw your Iron Maiden react to Prisoner. Glad you liked it. It's one of my favorites on the album. It was an amazing song, dude. Perfectly balanced. Uh, the solo was incredible. And like I said, dude, the drums, the drums were, the percussions on that song were just so intricate throughout the entirety of it. It was amazing. It definitely get, made me... Uh, get get a lot of respect for uh their drummer that passed away so i definitely can't wait i'm I, i'm going back and re-listening to the songs and focusing on the drums in the background that we've already heard and i'm gonna focus on them in the future I was gonna say I got better chance in my rocket launcher and then I pull out my katana and I was like oh yeah I forgot about that I switched it to my katana <laughs> are your requests still piled up uh we got like we got like three or four patreon requests that we have like different uh from different support different patreon supporters that we have lined up and those sh <laughs> he goes holy shit i suck but uh those should be we should get through those tomorrow so after tomorrow dude we should be all caught up and able to start hitting the ones in uh time will be different. the uh we'll actually the that are actually in the discord Because, like, not every song that's a Patreon request gets labeled Patreon request. Like, the uh, the Cunning Linguist one today, that was a uh, Patreon request. The Peeping Tom one was a Patreon request. Uh, then we did Iron Maiden, which we keep in rotation until we get through their discography. And, uh... What was the other one, dude? I can't even remember. Oh, we did a Woody song today. Yeah, Yak Influenced. That one was just because we haven't done Woody in a minute and I wanted to put out a Woody song. Yeah, Clive Burr was a great drummer, and it was, Number of the Beast was his last album. Uh, he died. In, oh, he died in 2013. Oh, so he left the band. I thought he passed away 
and they continued without him after a couple of years. Did he go on to uh, be part of, uh, of any other bands? That'd be cool as hell. Use this time to train a bit. We'll be deploying soon. His name was Fat Left Nut. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enough training. Now you fight a real enemy. He had drug problems. That was the reason why. Ah. Oh, I hope he got those issues sorted out before he passed. Hopefully his passing wasn't related to his drug issues. It's like, approaching your position. isn't the, the uh, zone. the drummer from, like, Guns N' Roses, isn't he still, like, a heroin addict, or still battling with his heroin addiction? That's why the original drummer for uh, Blink-182 was replaced with Travis Parker, because he had a real bad problem with alcohol. They even have a song about it called Man Overboard. <clears throat> it's a fantastic song. Especially for, like, uh... Because every... Blink-182 was a very comedic band. You know, so every so often Kill when when they came out Go. with a song that was serious, like always or uh, like even "Damn It" itself is pretty good or not pretty serious, not uh, not like the mute the music video is more comedic than the song is, but uh, like their more serious songs are just fucking fantastic, like Man Overboard or uh, Adam Song. Adam Song is such a great song, dude. It's so sad, though. Burr was diagnosed with multiple, multiple sclerosis in the late 90s. Burr Enemy died in his sleep nearby. on 13th of March 2013 in London, five days after his 56th birthday due to complications. You know what, though? Like, in your sleep, if you're gonna, like, if you're gonna die, I feel like in your sleep's not a bad way to go. You know? I mean, everyone's gonna die. I just, like, my worry is in my sleep from a seizure but we're one year from seizure free so fuck yeah but uh like it at least like you're not freaking out because that's that would be the worst like panicking in your final you moments. got gas moving in or uh just being terrified you know that would be horrible Daniel. I am Dan. Oh, 
Hold on. I'll drive. Don't worry. Do you have grenades? I have a flash grenade. Time is up. Yeah. Contract I drive. I don't even remember what contract we were going after. <laughs> Let's fucking get it. Y'all can be conspicuous and all that good shit. And the next thing he knows, bam, dead. Yeah, keep worrying about that, dude. being the distraction for me, bro. Do you have anything good? He has nothing for range. That's why he was worried about this guy. Where'd he go? Oh, he's down here. I was gonna say, that's definitely not him. Take that, though. The song, The Prisoner, that you did today is the song that was for the sequel song. Oh, so they're connected. Okay, I'm gonna have to listen, when I re-listen to the other songs today, I'm gonna have to listen to them back to back. I'm waiting on recon. UAV, beginning flyover. Not the smartest way to charge through, but we're going out in the open, just fuck it. That was a good shot. I feel like I'm playing bots right now, dude. It is the middle of the day. Safe zone relocated. Out in the open. I get some cover from these ones. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You suck. You get this dick. song you'll be doing 22 Akakia Avenue is a sequel song to Charlotte the Harlot that you will do when you get to Maiden's first album. Ah, okay.
We're gonna hit this one. I feel like there's gonna be nobody over here, dude. My gut's telling me to go after this one. Hell yeah, bro. That's perfect placement for that. Oh, there's one right there. We can hit that one next. Did someone else take it? Someone else fucking took it, dude. Oh no, that was the one. It had to have been. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Ooh. He got fucking finished by somebody. Good shit, bro. Good shit. <laughs> I like that. Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. Ah, sha. So it's begun. 22 Aksha Avenue. Boy, you're up next. Ready up. And you return to the front line. Oh, so the CIA is like guys uh, in Fuchsia. Prove you can still fight, soldier. Hey, Golden Thumb, how you doing, bro? We're getting these dubs, or at least trying to. We're heading on over and picking this bitch up right her. How you doing today, bro? Hope you're doing well. We tried some Mexican Coke for the first time. That's what Amanda, the person uh, who sent me that box of a bunch of different stuff for TikTok, she wanted me to try the Coke first, so... We're trying, we tried uh, the Coca-Cola, and dude, I was so surprised that it, it doesn't taste like syrup. It, like, that's the big noticeable difference. Sipping on syrup. Enemy soldier nearby. Contract complete. Recon intel secured.
guy. <laughs> yeah, apparently Mexican Coke uses real cane sugar still. You can definitely tell, dude. You can definitely tell. And then, uh, everyone on TikTok told me that Chamoy and Tahin goes on, like, fruit and candy together. And I was like, all right, well, what kind of candy does it go on? And they were like, any, basically, any gummy candy. So I got some gummy Skittles to uh, try that on. We'll be doing that, too. <laughs> Use this time to train a bit. We'll be deploying soon. I said some fucking robot Enemy comment. Hey, if you do this and not do this, I'll bless your cash app or your PayPal. And I was like, fuck off. <laughs> that was my exact response. Just fuck off. I figured the stream was going to be kind of dead because we were starting this early. So that's why I didn't start with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Because I want uh, AP and Native have been there like every time I've played that game. And I don't want to finish it without them because I know how it ends, but they don't. <laughs> the ending is fucking fantastic, dude. I've only beaten the game one time, though, so it'll be nice to see the end of the game. See if I notice any differences. Because last time I saw it... Last time I play, uh, played that game, I hadn't watched a lot of Star Wars stuff. So there might be differences that I notice. Or, like, uh, not differences, but there might be, like, details that I didn't notice before. I didn't watch, like... Rebels or uh, Clone Wars before that, or anything like that. I do know Mandalorian, or not the Mandalorian, uh, Book of Boba Fett had BD in it though, this is droid. So they gotta, they gotta connect somehow through the line, or down the line eventually he's gonna go to Tatooine I, I imagine. I can't wait to play the second one, dude. The second one's gonna be amazing. Did you like... The, dude, I love The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is my favorite 
Star Wars project to have come out since the Disney takeover. Dude, The Mandalorian was fantastic. Uh, I really liked... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say really like because it had its vast problems. You've got gas moving in. But I I liked uh, Book of Boba Fett, and it it had a plenty of Mando story in it, so that's cool as fuck. I can't wait for Ahsoka. I heard uh, there's rumors. I I haven't looked at the pictures because. It, I, just, I don't want to see them if it happens to be true. But it's rumored currently that uh, Ahsoka and Darth Maul will face off against each other in her series. Because there's like leaked uh, set images. Billy Burr fuck the world. Dude, he did an amazing job in uh, The Mandalorian. Bill Burr was fantastic. I hope we get to see him again, but I am 100% fine with us never seeing his character again because of how it, his character's story ends so far. You know? Like, that, that was a great way to end it for him. If we never see him again, I'm cool with that. And we got to hear what a Star Wars Boston accent. It's canon. There's a, there's a whole planet of motherfuckers that are speaking galactic basic right in a Boston accent. And we need to see it. <laughs> fucking Brooklyn or wherever he's from. I don't know where he's from. Contract complete. Recon intel secured. He's Boston, okay. <laughs> He's funny as hell, dude. And it's crazy to look back and see him on, like, Chappelle show and see him with hair. Like, he doesn't look... Like, he doesn't look as good with hair. He looks much better, in my humble opinion, Maul. Looks more natural. And it's fucking... Uh, dude, he's just... In everything he does, he he brings his unique style into it, you know? He, that, uh... That what the fuck are you gonna do to me, lady? I'm just up here telling jokes. That, uh... That mentality, that's... He brought that to Star Wars. <laughs> he brought that to his character. It was awesome. Hey, little penguin, how are you doing? Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Cool. Loadout drop headed your way. Recon intel secured. Job well done. Yeah, that'll come in handy. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Doing well, how are you? I'm doing really good. We're just fucking hanging out. 
playing two games. We're going to play a lot of different games today. Um, I, I can't wait. We're just... We're just starting with uh, Call of Duty until like 1 or 2 o'clock. Oh, it's already 1 o'clock, so we're probably going to play this for another hour. And then uh, we're going to switch on over to Jedi Fallen Order. And finish that. And then there's a bunch of, you know, like that uh, Scribble IO or uh, like Drawful and stuff like that. We're gonna play together later on. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Oh, you piece of shit. Fucked up. I bought two 500 milligram candy bars yesterday and they delivered 2,000 milligram UAV candy active. bars. I only paid 30 each. I'm getting lit after work. Fucking A, bro. I, I'm curious. I, and if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. But I, uh, I wonder what you do for a living, Golden Thumb. You say. You, uh, do like buy and sell cards is that do you like work at a card shop or do you like own a card shop or something or is that just like side game Oh, he was doing one of these. With our last shot. I'll take that. Actually, we'll use this. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Guess what, buddy? It doesn't matter. <laughs>
wish I knew where this was going. Manufacturing plant that makes wheelchairs. I do precise measuring of components. I sell cards on the side and have a few card shops. I recently opened up one a year, uh, friend a year ago. Oh, opened up one with a friend a year ago. Right on, dude. Fuck yeah. So, like, the plant doesn't sound like much fun. But the cards and stuff on the side, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you deal much with comic books or just cards? It's fucking Welcome to the creepy. Gulag. If you survive, you He's are being your freedom. A Win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. <laughs> Prove you can still fight, soldier. <laughs> Heimdall! I got killed by Heimdall, so it's okay. The... It's it's kind of worth it. It was an even exchange. He killed me. I got to meet him. <laughs> Ultimately, I sold him my half so I can have more family time. Right on. I can respect that. I have a three-year-old that I don't want to miss. Doing both left me with no family time. I can still do what I love on the side. For sure, dude. I, t I totally respect uh, that because you got to you gotta keep family as the number one priority, you know? I'm trying to play with two fingers and it's not working. My fingers are like, what are you doing? Chilling, cruising through the air, having a good one. Training's over. Time to see what you've learned. That's one. So, since I couldn't figure it out for uh, the stream, I started in on my like off time when I'm not streaming and doing other oh, stuff. Yeah. I started uh, playing uh, Shine Pearl again. I started a Nuzlocke on that on my Switch Lite, and so far, dude, like I'm about to get to the I'm about to battle the first gym leader, 
and like nobody's even stood against me. I feel like this game is going to be so easy to nuzlocke just because you don't have the uh, you don't have the option to turn off the XP share. Like I couldn't even do the option to uh, randomize who I got based on my trainer ID. I didn't get a trainer card until after I got to select my Pokemon. I don't do much comics. I do own a few. Like, I have the Infinity War comics and a couple Superman ones with black and white plastic covers. Nice. I have, uh... Uh, Spider-Man 2099 with like a holographic cover. It's badass. Most wanted designation accepted. You and got then a like on uh, you now. I have a foil cover one made that uh, that's a uh, Amazon or uh, not Amazon. It's Wonder Woman fall of an Amazon. And uh, it's it's a badass cover, dude. My favorite cover that I have, though, is that one. Green Lantern fighting Superman. It's a badass. You can't go wrong. Have you played any JRPGs? What's JRPG? Like, I get the role-playing game. But what's the J? still got you. You have the drop on me and I still got you, bro. I don't know how, but I'll take it. Oh, dude. I, I got scared and then very aggro in a very brief amount of time. <laughs> that fight or flight response kicked in and I chose fight. It was on. Japanese. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have Dragon Quest one and two on my uh, on my Switch. I don't really know what to do. Um, and then, like, I've played Dragon Warrior Monsters. I, uh, that's a uh, like a spin-off of Dragon Quest, I believe, because it's got like slimes and. Drackies and all them in it. Except you like battle with them. That game's fantastic. The breeding system in that game is so it's so intricate. Guess 
Get to the marked location and defend it. back to the place I ran away from. That's, that honestly, that would be a game that I would be very interested in uh, playing again. Like the entire, like, spin-off series, because there's like three games. Three, four games in the Dragon Ball. Enemy Monster dropping into the AO. Like, uh, series. Good shoot. The Gulag. Survive this and you get to redeploy. Time to fight. DP. It's getting DP. <laughs> Tussle, you're on. You I'm win fighting. this fight and you return Yay. to the front line, but if you lose, you're done. Prove you can still fight, soldier. I've never played a final game. Shut down witness. Stand by for redeployment. Came back and fucking executed the guy who killed me. I love it. Gas is right on your tail. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone, sir. Next time. really try Final Fantasy 6. It's considered one of the best games of all time by anyone who's played it. Even though it's SME, oh, Super Nintendo graphics, the game isn't hindered at all. Okay. Is there a, uh, is there a way, can I, like, get it on Steam or something? <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Because I was looking, I was trying, I've been trying to try and find old arcade games, but I can't buy them on Steam, and it's like, that's kind of bullshit, bro. I should, I should definitely be able to play, or uh, buy games like Frogger, Galaga, and stuff like that on Steam, or on, like, Epic, or something. We're gonna change that song. That was getting a little too intense for me. Nah, Final Fantasy X's the GOAT. Right on, Johnny. Right on. It's on Steam. Okay. I might have to check it out. Let's, let's bring up Steam real quick.
Well, there's a Final Fantasy one through six bundle. Use this time to try it's seventy four dollars, dude. Holy shit! Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Is like, is it always connecting in the story? Do I have to play all of them to understand number six, or is it like a standalone story? They do just have six for like $15. There's like 18 or something like that. Oh, okay. Enemy soldier nearby. Playtime's over. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Each Final Fantasy is its own story. Okay. Yeah, they had uh, they had six by itself for like uh, it was like. 15, 16 That's hours gas you or don't something. Breathe. Make your way to the safe zone. Yeah, dude, I'll play it. Like, you want me to play it on stream? Is that what you mean? Execute all targets in the AO. I'd be down to play it on stream. Make your way to the target. Be dub. Yeah, dude. I. Uh, are you like on? I. Uh, are you on my Instagram or? How can how can I send you a message? Are you in the Discord or anything like that? Fifty seconds, and it's oh, it's not that far away. I think that hesitation is gonna fuck me at the end. What's the Discord? Uh, the link is literally right above you. It's one, two, three, four messages. The disc, it's just, uh, it's my Discord. People can like what music requests. Bullshit. We get updates. We can message each other directly on there. Time for recon to give us a show. Contract is settled. Good work out there. UAV getting flyover.
why would you do that? Survive, you earn your freedom. I had a call UAV from my tax field. guy. You get the flight. pronunciation. Ah, it's like Aksha, right? It's I uh, like the end of it. The CIA at the end is pronounced like the color fuchsia. The fight has begun. Get ready to toss it. and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Prove you can still fight, soldier. Ah, uh, if I was uh, actually paying attention. Lay us on that time, but we'll settle. Alright, dude, you said you're in the Discord now? Ah, Keisha. Okay, okay, okay. Keisha. Let's back out for a little bit. Everybody. back into one and then golden thumb I am sending you a friend request on discord Got it, Herm. You have to go. Have a great one year anniversary, bro. Hey, Metal Mark, I appreciate you dropping by and all the wisdom and knowledge that you got. And I appreciate you just the kind words and spending this time with us. It's, it's always appreciated, man. All right. I just sent you my Steam, uh, I, like, my Steam friend code. There you go, bud. I'm just acting like an idiot now. <laughs> it's not an act.
<laughs> B-Dub liked it. Hey, bro, are you trying to play some rounds? Or are you still working? Hit it! It's some random dude because I posted a uh, message like I posted one of the clips on uh Use this time to train a bit. We'll be deploying soon. Posted one of the clips on TikTok. That's the word I was looking for. Just dropped in on my lunch break. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. But uh I posted a gaming clip on TikTok. And some random dude comments, uh, it's the only comment that the video has got. He goes, play with me. No, motherfucker, I don't know you. <laughs> what makes you think I want to play with you? I don't play with randoms for a reason, bro. It's because I'm fucking shy. Training's over. Time to see what you've learned. What's on menu for lunch today, B-Dub? Make a uh, chicken and broccoli one around here. Feel like taking on a bounty. It is fucking bomb, dude. I'll be back in a few hours. Hey, dude, we'll be here. We'll be here until like 8 my time. That's the plan. Primary objective is to eliminate well, he enemies. died on impact. Attack. I guess I'm objective glad to about eliminate that. The bounty target. That's what you get for teabagging before the match even starts, bro. 
get two shots to the face and you're done. First one fucked up your teeth, the second one ended you. I couldn't leave him with a straight smile. I thought, I thought there was two of them. I was bamboozled. <laughs> oh, you bitch! Learn from the loss. Come back stronger. I got killed by Loger. I got killed by Loger. time to switch it up and play some resurgent solos. I need faster pace. Nice moves, bro. Tried and true. Uh, Resurgence. We're Gas approaching is the drop zone. AP's it's normally safe. right. We'll go harbor. Withstand a he normally go, he, he normally goes to harbor and select my weapons. Earn points to secure it faster. Enemy dropping into the AO. Targets are up. Take them out. Time. 
UAV active. Hold on, one second. On the bounty target. Let's okay. make this quick. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky. Enemy UAV active. I'd say that was worth it. As long as we can stay alive. that one chief not too sure about that one Good placement, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Dude, it takes forever to reload! What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> hey, Joe, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It may not seem like it, though. <laughs> doing today Joe
Oh, it was that. I was like, what the fuck? safe zone. TikTok wanted to show love. Hey, Joe, I appreciate you coming over and saying what's up. We're going to be on for a while. We'll probably be on until like 6, 8 o'clock my time. So I appreciate you dropping in and saying what's up, man. It's going to be a fun time today. content we got uh we got a lot of fun videos coming up for uh tiktok use this time to train a bit we'll be deploying soon I'm all like, all right, let's get serious. And then I'm like, wait, there's a timer in my in the middle of my screen. It's not time to get serious yet. Playtime's over. Right, Stand by for this one to the war zone. Definitely not. That one's way too busy. Legendary DP. Enemy UAV active. Uh, 
There we go. I'll be kind of like a G stock, big bang wall. Stop him in a Reebok, you know how it goes. Over dice with no sound, geeking off of the snow. You would thought it was a stripper, I'm pushing up with the pole. I got more bitches in the girls' dome. Bullets never in the gun, that's the air force. I don't know why I did that. Switch to, <laughs> to reload it. Hey, 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 there we go, there we go. Enemy UAV I might not even get my loadout if I can get some good fucking lethal and tacticals. I would, you know what? Relying on this, I would have done the same thing. Sneaking, bro. Do better this time. You got some good guns. Friendly loadout shot on the way. Oh, what? Come on, dude. Next time will be different. Return to base for debrief. It's all good. There's another match. There's always another match. of TikTok. Let's see how that's going. People are telling me <laughs> on TikTok, people are all over me saying that's not real Mexican Coke. Well, it says it right on the can, bro. <laughs> Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the sky.
Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Enough training. Now you fight a real enemy. All right, we're going to get like one or two more rounds in, and then we're going to switch over to Jedi Fallen Order. <clears throat> Resurgence. That's gas you don't want to try to get a dub. Make your way to the safe zone. Withstand a resurgence countdown to guarantee your redeployment. Earn points to secure it faster. Hostile dropping into the area. Primary objective is to eliminate all enemies. Attack! Target is up. Take him down. Oh! Good shit, dude. Good shit. That was nice. I can't I can't fucking hate oh, on that, dude. That was slick. I thought he was dead. That was slick. Gotta at least try to come back and go, right? <laughs> they us all at that time, but we'll sell the score. That was dude. I'm impressed. I I was one hundred percent sure that guy was dead. Once, once everybody gets in here, I'm going to switch over to Jedi Fallen Order because I imagine people are going to start coming in, so, like, the regulars, because this is the time the stream normally starts, about this time. Operations done. Time to deploy to the war zone. So 
for somewhere new. We're hitting die. Make your way to the safe zone. Survive the countdown to secure your redeployment. Earning points speeds up the countdown. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. I didn't realize I had a sniper rifle. I just knew I had some sort of long purple gun. <laughs> Redeploying. Make it mean something. You might hit it. You never know. It just might Target hit. Target marked right. for airstrike. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. I got lucky, I'll take it. See what you can do. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. Damn. Keep shooting that wall. No enemy hits on that run. You are done yet. Friendly loadout drop on the way. I kind of. Oh no! And then I was like, wait! This is my only chance is to rip it out. There was no way. Alright, I am going to close out of Warzone. Jedi Fallen Order. Pause that music. Roll that beautiful bean footage.
fan. Sometimes the exhaust valve needs a bit of tending to, but otherwise, it hasn't been much of an issue. Gris is quite the expert when it comes to engineering. We haven't had a problem with the Mantis that Gris couldn't fix on the fly. I'm just surprised to see him outside on Dathomir. Well, she was asking about my ship. Of course I'm gonna show her. It's fascinating. You must teach me to be a pilot. Whoa, 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 one thing at a time. First maintenance, then flight lessons, maybe. I haven't committed to anything yet. That'd be cool in the sequel. She's the co-pilot. That's what the crew needs is a co-pilot. Because Seer is more the the wise Cal, mentor. Cal, to join me? Grease has gone outside for once. Figured I'd take the time to rest. Not a bad idea. You two have spent a lot of time together. I think it's Marin's turn to enjoy his charm. <laughs> think she can handle it? He's superstitious enough to give her space, relatively speaking. Makes me want to learn magic. <laughs> Seriously. What are you thinking about? How quiet it is. I don't know if it's because Grease is off the ship or something else. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Hang on. How's it feel to be home? Good. Now that Malikos is gone. It's hard to believe he was ever a Jedi. Desperation deformed him. There are many experiences that can warp or break a person. I was taught that we always have a choice in how we respond to misfortune. True. But it still leaves a mark. Your friend's here. It is clear she carries great pain. She may no longer be a Jedi, but she'll never stop fighting for what she believes in. Good. Yeah, good. Oh, so, yeah, now we gotta go to Bagano. Let's leave this place. Time to go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So, if the Order thing is rebuilt, do you think any Jedi will come out of hiding? Mm, what makes you think there are Jedi hiding? No, I'm just curious. Is there someone specific you're thinking of? Well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-eared, legendary Jedi Master, and... Are you talking about Master Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. The Jedi High Council member? Yeah, we all have our dreams, okay? <laughs> Let me have mine. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. He loves now. him some Yaddle. <laughs> That's awesome. You think it'll work? It worked for Cordova. You can make it work. She's right. Oh, hey, is anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some scat steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's true, Grease. Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? Like, it the should be something you list. protect and guard. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? Yeah. It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Get in, oh, hey, uh, change of plans, we're doing. arriving. Oh, Gris. <laughs> yeah. I take my steak rare. Huh? Huh? 
Okay, now we're cooking. That's a cool part scene. I like that. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bogano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bogano is special. There's a reason the Zepho built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? We're definitely not on Dathomir anymore. No, we are not. Is it how you imagined? The rest of the galaxy, I mean? It is so vast. I see now my life on Dathomir was... limited. I felt the same way about leaving Baraka. The world can feel small when you're trapped by the past. I think I will like my time aboard the Mantis. Yeah, baby. Cal, thought a second. You've been through a lot to get here. But the vault is still an unknown. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those younglings alone. I'll be fine, Seer. Plus, I've got BD with me. <laughs> I know. Just be careful. This might be unlike anything you two have faced before. Hold that thought. Oh, hey there, little guy. So, this is yeah. the same kind of sphere and socket from Zepho. What do you think it does? He's scared. Aww. Sorry, little guy. That didn't really accomplish anything. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I gotta line this one up just right. We'll find you a home. It's gonna be on the ship? That is awesome. Hold Buddy, on. over here. We gotta check out the little guy. Let's see where he's at. I hear him. Hanging out back here? No. Where's this little bastard at? Oh, there he is! He 
he's chilling underneath the table. Can't really see him. Does he move? See him in different spots, I think. I'll have to try and send it later. The mobile Steam app is crap. LOL. It's all good, dude. Don't worry about it. Sent something over here. was almost bad. <clears throat> you. What are you? You seem to be chill. How, I was going to say, are you just going to let me fall? I wish I knew how to get to that thing that creature. You're a lifesaver, nice. you know that? Looking good, buddy. Hell yeah. Poor thing alone. I'm boggling. There must be a nest around here somewhere. Buddy. 
Come on out, buddy. skill points to get the stuff that we want. It sounds strange, but I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. <laughs> Careful, buddy. We still don't know how this thing works. Go, BD. achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. The greater control we sought, the further we fell into ruin. I lead the remnants of my people into the great unknown, hoping that we will finally find peace. Teach them the ways of the Force. Master Custis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the Force? Gather round, everyone. Master Custis, do you think the Empire will find us? No, no. 
not the younglings. Not again. That's a good youngling. That's a good youngling. That's right. On your knees. Fucking torturing kids. Feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Baraka then. A scant mercy. I wagered one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the Force-sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. Sensing the echo from it. Don't go. We need to stick together. 
No. I'm going to lure them away, and then I'm going to circle back. Stay with the younglings, Trilla. May the Force be with you. Master! Don't leave us! Trilla, what's going to happen? It's okay. It's okay. And it was not okay. This is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You play as Cal Kestis. He was just—he had only just built his lightsaber. That's how young he was when Order 66 happened. So he's—he's he's virtually untrained. Start shooting. Thank you, sir, for your contribution. Now we have points. Bend on skill. Saber now.
is this place? me. Seer, I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. Yes. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Agreed. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. Also true. You told me that's here. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. I won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Neil. Oh shit, he's about to get knighted. Cool if you saw her by the right of the council, by the will of the force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. That's awesome. You are ready. So are you. You're making good progress, Cal. I'm a Jedi Knight, motherfucker. Quiet. Too quiet. What not plants am I missing? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. <laughs> <laughs> You calling me? You sure these vines are safe? They're getting pretty big. Yeah, well, they're painting my palms, trimming them every day. 
But yeah, they're fine, as long as I don't forget to cut them. That's reassuring. That looks cool, dude. You're making good progress, Cal. Oh, the planet's Nur. I was trying to get to, like, the moon. I was like, maybe I have to go to that? journey has put a lot of wear and tear on the Manus. Like it was perfect before? It was a masterpiece, but now, ugh, just don't be surprised if I send you a bill. <laughs> Someone's low on funds. I mean, sure, okay, that may be part of it, but I'm used to it. Were you rich growing up? Wealth isn't really a priority for Jedi. Yeah, well, I was poor too, but it wasn't so bad. My crew and I would find things to do for cheap. That's where I learned how to play Subhawk. A game which requires credits. Strange choice. Well, we were kids. We bet all kinds of dumb things from food to funny-shaped rocks. Unfortunately, things changed when we got older. Funny-shaped rocks didn't go so far anymore. A galaxy would be a better place if they did. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Let's go! This isn't good. With the defenses I got, our usual tricks just aren't gonna cut it. I can help. What are you thinking? A ritual. It will hide the ship. I hope. A ritual? She has an act for this kind of stuff. Wait, hold, wait, wait a minute. Now, hold on. Now, what is this gonna require? A sacrifice. One of your arms will do nicely. Wait, what? Don't be so serious. Join me up front. <laughs> Sisters, mother, lend me your strength. Sisters, mother, lend me your strength. The odds are. But please on you, kid. Let's go, buddy. Once we're inside, I'll engage their defense level and then sabotage their sensors so the mantis can extract us. You find the Holocron. Shall we stick together? I feel the pull. The lives of every child on that list are at stake. Whatever happens in there and whatever you see, don't worry about me. Just get it and get out. Close it on the fortress. It's time. It's time.
Christ, he doesn't want to scan it. He wants to scan everything. to go then. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Located the holocron. Sending you the location now. Got it. We're on the move. It's locked. What do you think? Hostile spotted. You will be right back. Stay down. 
Yeah! Yeah! We just kicked some ass, bro! Talk about a fucking hallway scene! Where did you come from? Point taken. Look out! He's deadly! Oh, I think I can catch him. Fight us, you coward. He's just dead. This place is where the Empire created the Inquisitors. They tortured Seer and turned Trilla to the dark side. Let's tear it down, BD1. Seer, I've cleared out this area, but the Empire sealed me in. Any ideas? Cal, look for a control room. I've got a plan. I think I'm standing in one. This needs power. <laughs> Buddy, over here. Me a stim, bud. Yeah. Feeling much better. Thanks. needs power. No, come back. Plugging into that. I'm such a fucking idiot. on the outer sections of the fortress. Flood the base and swim to the central keep. It's a hell of a plan. We'll meet up inside. Good luck. Got it. Let's go, BD. That section looks pretty weak.
Watch out, I thought you were leaving this game for another day. Oh uh, yeah, that day's today, bro. <laughs> we're doing uh, the seizure free stream today, dog. No droids. Stupid little astro droid. <laughs> I fucking love that. I didn't say it, I didn't mean it. Magic BD. BD does it again. Fight him, cowards. so much for that guy. I appreciate it. And I'm glad to be making these videos and streaming for you guys and all that. We're gonna keep doing it. It's gonna be 
You rule the place. Hey, dude, I appreciate that. You rule, though. You guys who come in and support me, you guys are you guys are going to think you can break in? I wouldn't be doing it without you guys' support. The Jedi, he's in the interrogation wing. You will fall before me. all day. We'll do one by one if we have to. Far Cry 4 and 5, though. That's the last of them. Cal, I'm near your position, but sealed behind a blast door. Look for a console nearby. Found it. How are you holding up? Don't worry about me. We have a job to do. Still, it feels good to tear this place apart. This prison is where they kept us. I only wish there was someone Ooh, left to save. Sorry we had to come back here. So am I. But we didn't really have a choice, did we? I understand. Let's keep moving. Yes. Let's get this over with. Any sign of Trilla? No. Not yet. The holocron is being kept in the interrogation chamber. It's the most secure place in this entire fortress. I'm opening the path to the holocron. Get to the holocron. I'll divert reinforcements and join you as soon as I can. What are you doing, BD? What is up here that is so important that you almost made me fall in lava? Oh. Okay. That's, that's what is it, buddy? Oh, you get the laser gates, not the skeleton behind it. Looks like a turbo lift. Might be your ticket out of here. BD-1? 
Thanks for being my friend. I like that he told him I've that. Anything like this. He's like, like I don't know what's gonna happen. We might, we might not win. So thanks for being my friend, little droid. them down and turned them to the dark side. Lock door, meet BD1. saw what you've been through. You've experienced great suffering. It's not too late to let it go. Let go? I'm stronger now because of the pain. No, you're not. I knew you'd come back for this. No, thank you. You'll never make it out of this place alive!
Quickly. I'm good. I thought I was dead, dude. I thought I Cow. was dead. I have the hawk run. I need to do this. It's over, Trilla. Nothing is ever truly over. This fight is over. I know the darkness that is eating you up inside, and every day we choose to either feed it or fight it. It's too late, Seth. No, it's not. I know the choices that I made took all your choices away, and I have failed you, Trilla. I failed you. But I am so very sorry. Is she gonna turn her? I've carried so much hate for you. I don't have any more help. I'm one shot. Get out of here. Bro. Come on. 
Come on. Hey, stay back. Just fucking tossed her to the side like she was fucking nothing. I think we lost him. I'll make it. See her. I won't fail you. Kid, you read me? They're not responding. They will. I am certain of it. Breeze, I'm here. Heading towards the surface. Be ready. I have the holocron. See her. She didn't make it, Grease. I guess I didn't hit the button enough. What's up, Alex? We're trying to escape from Darth Vader right now, dude. I can't believe she's still fucking alive, dude. Hey. Hey. Hey, kid. Cow. Cow. <sighs> See her. She's all right. She's all right. <laughs> you too. You did it. We did it. Oh, we did. Careful. Uh, where are they? Well, they're out there. Whoa! Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh. Sorry. That was you in the water, wasn't it? I'm glad you're okay. This one wouldn't leave your side. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Hey. 
So now what? Well, Captain, this is the end of my charter. Your contract has been fulfilled. Thank you, Grease. Well, if it's all the same to you, I was thinking that maybe I would stick around here and take you wherever you gotta go. Besides, the kid kind of looks up to me. What about that? We use it to rebuild the Jedi Order. The next generation of Jedi. The Empire will be after them. Just like they're after us. The lives of every child on that list will be forever changed. Not by us. Their destiny should be trusted to the Force. So where to now? I need more, man. I need more. That game was fucking fantastic. Am I gonna have to sit through this? I think I am. So what's up, everyone? What you guys up to? You got anything going on later today? I'm just chilling. Is there like a uh, an end credit scene? Or something. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my drink.
Can you hear me now? I hope you can. My microphone's been messing up on me. Okay. Yeah, my microphone's been messing up pretty bad on me, so we've been uh, saving up for a new one. We're almost, we almost got enough for it. So, shouldn't be too much longer. I'm hoping I can get it before this craps out on me, though. But uh, I appreciate you coming in here and saying, uh, saying that. And I'm going to keep listening to Mike Patton, man, because if, even if it doesn't help, it sure is nice. <laughs> The beginning of the stream, we started it off with the girls of porn. <laughs> yeah it was uh it was a trip man it was a good time starting up everyone I, well i was dancing around having a good time This needs to hurry up, bro. <laughs> this is so boring. I'm sorry we all have to sit here and watch this together. Oh my god. I was just hitting buttons on my screen. We... We could have backed out this entire time. Bonus content. Oh, there's no... It's 
So that's it for that. Starting up this game. It's going to take a little bit because it's the first time starting it. Take forever anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> now it's loading. Now it's loading. Um it's taking a second. There's Freya, if you didn't hear. Here we go.
Why isn't it starting a new game? There we go. The year was nineteen aught eleven t twelve. By eighteen ninety nine, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. had mostly been tamed. <clears throat> A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed, underlined. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. 
Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davey, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We ain't done yet. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. I ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. Giddy up. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Oh. Whoa. Careful over this bridge here. Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope for that boy. John are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, 
Let me take the rear. You move up. Lord, there's a fire. Let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. <clears throat> Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, but... Now, Fran... I ain't asking for much. Please. I am... kinda desperate. Hey! I don't believe it! Come here, partner! Come here! God damn! Over there! We're just dealing with the rules of engagement. Saw that gun, and I was like, he's over. upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey got 
got me some oat cakes. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. west of here, near the lake. What are you <gasps> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say Joe I would love to this, send Arthur. you a little care package with Mexican care. goodies. But bring that horse if you done. would like to, that would be incredible. I don't know anything else. Please. He's done for. But uh, if you want to, that would be awesome. If not, just continue enjoying the content. That would be amazing enough. Whoa. 
Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. You can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. <laughs> Fair it's enough. Okay. I'll leave you a message on TikTok. You know, hey, I appreciate that, Joe. Until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but we weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I Animals. need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. We don't like Micah. <laughs> He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... 
Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Yeah, you gotta go Thank look you. for him if that's the case. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton's. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. The crevasse. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. They continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's getting narrow here. Come on, boy. Horse struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Right, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. See if he can hear us. Come on. I'll 
that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You sure about this? It's coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. When you head to that, we're high up here. You're telling me. Watch out here. Stay low under here. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! a few days I know here take a drink of that thanks I'm not designed for this snow let's keep moving then come on That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, <laughs> you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? They want it. They got a piece of me now. They want the rest. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right. 
John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. One of them, dude. We could eat it. I mean, it's better than starving, right? Got through that. More coming down the hill. More of it. Stay back. Get the hell out of here. Get out. Look out on the right. We got more wolves on the left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. Not yeah, because you would right have been now. dead. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> if you and Dutch talk about how we're going to get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. That the civilization! The problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Yeah. So what now, Dutch? Get strong. 
we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot. Hello, sir. Oh, sorry. Come with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of <laughs> course. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Turn yellow. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh! It feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! We you need to stick together. Punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around <laughs> waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! There are O'Driscolls about. Them damn O'Driscolls. Right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this or their planet. As I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait <laughs> for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Oh, fuck. Damn right, boss. Damn right, boss. Kiss ass. Smoke? You fucking kiss ass piece of they shit. Near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa. You're all right, boy. Hold up here.
All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Yeah. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Let's get shit done. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. So, do I have to go find something else? Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Ooh, bitch slapped. They like he didn't get shot. Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. Take your and shot. Let's <laughs> rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll... Circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs Not right completely. now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Watch out. This bit's steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Let's get in cover. Ready for 
this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Yeah. We don't have time to debate this. Okay. I'll go first. Sons of bitches! doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards!
around we're waiting on you Arthur good work boys now let's tear this place apart <clears throat> Bill you go search that wagon there Mike search that building Arthur you take that building to the left all right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <sighs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John. Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get Dude, these horses this look so good. Like, I was, I'm looking at his. Too. Its fur <laughs> looks amazing. Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, In the sunlight? Look at that. It's amazing, You know, dude. he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. What are, you, what are you doing, horse? I, I don't know how to ride a horse, I guess.
boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Oh my so god, I started all the way up, from Michael. the beginning. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. The camp near some lake. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this or their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's yeah. him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse.
You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as my weekend bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah. Come on, I can't. So I can only just use the side. Wasn't right sure you agreed with me. I was like, why, let me put the shotgun on the other slide. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. No, you're good, Golden Thumb. You take care of what you gotta do, dude. I'm still here. We're still playing games. We're still having a good time. Hope work uh, calms down a little bit. Steep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay. I'll go first.
course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! I need to stand for a little bit. Ugh! I got some chewing tobacco. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Okay, let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Michael, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Watch it. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. 
Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. That's what I'm You're saying. coming with me. I'm no use to you, really. Hey, you don't mind, do you? Shit! Shit! Please, please, you don't need to do this. <laughs> Drop him face down in the snow. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. Oh God, no! What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Friend, Mister. great reaction to the prisoner of Iron Maiden. Greetings from Chile. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Otaku kun, how you doing, I, I'm bro? Used to you. you better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Much love. I appreciate you dropping in the live stream. I'm glad you enjoyed the Iron Maiden. I've reaction. only been running with them a couple of months. Have a heart, Mister. Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. 
to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Let's hit that train. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When yeah. I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. How Pearson. you doing today, Otaku Hoon? We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you <clears throat> unfortunately survived. <laughs> When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. He needs a full stomach, is what he needs. <coughs> then he can rest. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. I imagine. Come on. This way. Yeah. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. <laughs> Here we go. We can sure do that now. I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Ha! We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. 
I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Let's get some motherfucking venison. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Mm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. <laughs> Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Don't run. They'll hear you coming a mile off. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. there you see him are you ready with that bow try to hit him in the neck or head quick and clean get good tension on the string before releasing just don't overdo it now Arthur I overdid it. Now my stamina is all fucking shot.
What's going on, Connor? How you doing, bro? Just chilling. Tracking some deer right now. Sure, your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll grab the other one. Hope you're doing well, dude. Let's head back. Indeed, indeed. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. <laughs> Careful. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwall? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. We must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. We ain't ever 
talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still oh. wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Easy. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I did my <laughs> utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. Let me find in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. <laughs> this really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. 
If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> a few days later... It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch... Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah, and you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look, look at you. <laughs> I was going to say, look at you. Attention. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea, we're living. Look at me. We're living, even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Let's Follow go. Me. so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? To take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride.
But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. <laughs> we'll be safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Easy. Easy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, great. How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. It's time! Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Stop yelling! Oh, shit! Yeah. 
I'm back for a little bit. Hey, little penguin. Glad to see you back here. Little penguin, indeed. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last part. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. <laughs> Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. They blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step Indeed. back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. 
Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. See? That's how it's done. Shit! Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of figure got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Let's ride. Hey. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Come on. For Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. Oh, Mary Beth. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch.
Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Had to scratch my back. <laughs> Take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then... Cut left, inland. Hurry it up, yep. we've got work to do. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. It, the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. <laughs> Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Uh, we still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. You'll be all right. <laughs> Trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Uh, I'm probably gonna be ending it hope so. before too long. We have survived. Went to this uh, now, now camp gets set prosper. up. I'll probably call it quits. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one. Appreciate you showing up but and talking when you could, bro. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe. 
now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. A few weeks later... We got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Spot of black water in that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> What's happening out here, big heart? I got you, bro. Toss a coin to your witcher. Thank you for the donation, Connor. I do appreciate it, bro. Oh, valley of plenty. Oh, let's bring it to two. And at this time, I would like to give a big, I mean a very, very big round of fuck you to you whole ass nigga out here sleeping on me. Bitch, affiliated player, represent. Now real is real, and fake is fake. Just follow my guidelines, don't make the same mistake. They say blood sick of the water, but I think it's your blood. Is it thicker than the blood that I'm made of? How do you get love? Will you die for me? Will you always be around like when you get high with me? Or could 
could it be? Yeah, I am crazy. Be all I can be for my worst enemy. Just see, mm. feed the you and my partner, Mafio. We sold for show. Bout to knock down the door. Turn the to soul. Like my baby. Who put the light up on me for my high road glow? I'm so for show. Brother, stage or studio. A pot of gold was for me at the end of the rainbow. Ain't no game, ho. Till I'm serious by mine. Ain't a 1999 is my time to shine. I'm gonna be fine. Shit up in y'all ears. We switch a game like niggas switch gears. We on the grind in this blood, sweat, and tears. For real, man, what's happening out here? See these niggas putting shit up in y'all ears. We switch a game like niggas switch gears. We on the grind in this blood, sweat, and tears. What's happening out here? Too much happening out here. I ain't having it here. It's just me, my 50 caliber, and there's no man out here. I never thought shit would be so funny. My partner left the free world with cocaine and money. He wasn't tripping, but you know how niggas do. You know the devil is how they deal. Whole niggas is fuck you. They run off with your paper and your cheese. Cash in off your property, play broke on the streets. The game go deep, nigga. Why the fuck you think I'm bulletproof? I ain't just running around right here trying to count every piece of truth. Oh, thank you, Golden Thumb. We'll check your song out next. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for being here with us. You're a fucking legend. Both you guys are. I raise the roof when we're flousing in the dropper, baby. But my do is fuck you, never. Cause God name it. And that's the only one that I gotta answer to. Mr. 3 2, put that bone in, cause I'ma do you. Oh, the very first time I hear you talking down. Set an example off the top and let you know it's H time. No, 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 man, what's yeah. happening out here? See these niggas putting shit up in y'all ears. We switch a game like niggas switch gears. We on the grind, give it blood, sweat, and tears. What do you mean, Golden Thumb? Man, what's happening out here? See these niggas putting shit up in y'all ears. We switch a game like niggas switch gears. We on the grind, give it blood, sweat, and tears. For when I feel a whoop coming on, who's out of the time, got my view gone. Something is killing me, leave these fools alone. So I stay high, still riding in my zone. I break bread with my niggas, say they love me. Even though sometimes friends wanna bust me. But old chains that I old boys in the game. I never knew about these new holes in the game. Still in change at the back seat of my car. Cause they know my PO still big bar. In the drug or prescription or baby jar. See me chopping up the blocks in a foreign car. Me and my gang are Billy and they roll candy red. And that's for fat, fat bitch. Now nah, turn your head. See, I'm locked in the game like holy old. Then I ride for your baby till you come home. Strap with 45 calls, me and 3 2. Wrecking shot with Big Hawk, bitch, we killing you. And I'ma be your motherfuckers on that note. Man, what's happening out here, bitch? I'm cut though. Man, what's happening out here? See these niggas putting shit up in y'all ear. We switching game like niggas switch ears. We on the grind, giving blood, sweat, and tears. For real. Man, what's happening out here? See these niggas putting shit up in y'all ear. We switching game like niggas switch ears. We on the grind, giving blood, sweat, and tears. For real. I. I, r I really dig that song, dude. I, there was something weird about the voice in the recording, though. I, uh, do. Well, you mentioned your seizure at job messed you messed you up and was kept you spending more time at home. Do you still go out, dude? I leave my house like I. Uh, since I got the PO box, I leave my house once a week. But it used to be like once every other week, once every three weeks, something like that. I don't, I don't leave my house. I, uh, I kind of freak out in public. I appreciate that one, Connor. That was a good one. I always enjoy uh, listening to Hawks. Yeah, I was gonna say, and it had Mister Three Two on it. I knew, I knew his voice. Um, 
That's a get. Oops. Mac. Gray. Oh. Oops. All I want to do. Like. I uh, I really want to go out and do more stuff. I'm just I'm just afraid to. What is this? A lot of the issue is just not being able to go and do anything. I don't drive, and like the, any uh, the town with anything to do, the uh, it's like ten minutes that way or ten minutes that way. And, and that's a 10 minute drive. So I'm not, I'm not about to walk all that way <laughs> to see a movie or some shit. All right, let's hop into Mac and Dre. All I want to do. What is this? What a party? What, what, what is this? Yeah. What is this? A party? Man. What is this? What is this? What, yeah. what, what, what is this? Party, what, no, no, what, what is this? What is it? What is it? Well, I'm okay. Yeah. You know me. You know me. You know me. I love the body. You know I love the body, man. You know me. I love the body, man. You know me. In the parties that don't end at four Bitches that keep lingerie in the drawer Back in 84 I swore To peel straight dimes, no more Two two to the four Not looking for my Chevy or more I'm a Mac, I pimp pores, got CDs in stores I'm hardcore like the almighty Thor Campaign with this game, man Like Al Gore, drink Mickey's, not cores No sticky pot cores, got wounds and sores Oh, I've been through wars I wanna party till I fall on the floor Get drunk, pass out, then soar This is Bart Tender, come pour me some more. What no more? Fuck you up yours. I'm in the whores that wear Christian Dior. No pimples or clogged up pores. I don't bark by war. Catch me on tour. In the velour. Hoes screaming for more. What? You want me to come with some more whores or cut those up and take this shit out doors? All I ever want to do is potty. Catch me at the club trying to holler at somebody. I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk. Trying to have fun because you only live once. All I ever want to do is party Catch me at the club trying to holler at somebody I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk Trying to have fun cause you only live once See them other niggas be mean mugging Catch me and D on the scene bugging Hanging out the hole in my roof, son Shining off the diamonds in my tooth Man, I tell you the truth Me rapping to you is like selling you some food I'm dope, like a pound or a key Look what they been found in the V M D, ooh wee Rolling like Bart or a SUV My bills got spin wheels that spin like pinwheels Make it getting fucked with the Hutchie in heels I play infield, outfield and pitch I'm an all around player, nigga I hit ya Get rich ya, I'd rather have fun Cause it's no fun, being on the run And that's what I'm finna be Get from in front of me and quit acting like a thug You fucking wanna be? All I ever wanna do is potty. Catch me at the club trying to holla at somebody. I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk. Trying to have fun cause you only live once. All I ever wanna do is potty. Catch me at the club trying to holla at somebody. I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk. Trying to have fun cause you only live once. Funky coat with Dana. Have you seen her? She be with Tina. Drive a green gamer. I'll be seeing her at every function. Trying to get her to suck something, bust something in that jaw. I'm not interested in her friend at all. I got a slim and tall, I get a short and thick. Not some dumb, unfortunate. What's going on, Bubba? I need it big. I mean bigger, nah, not that big. Bitch, watch your figure. All I ever wanna do is potty. Catch me at the club trying to holla at somebody. I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk. Trying to have fun, cause you only live once. All I ever wanna do is party. Catch me at the club trying to holla at somebody. I'm rolling with the bumps in the trunk. Trying to have fun, cause you only live once. Appreciate you, Golden Thumb. I really like this beat, dude. 
his flow is untouchable. He's so smooth with his delivery. Max Draven's crazy. Uh, why, why, easy, yeah, all right, do you know that I holler, yeah, you know, the itty bitty city by the water, that's steady getting taller, but lay how, you don't understand, you have, you just don't understand, check it out though, Sipping martinis, eating scampi and linguini, making blunts disappear like I'm Houdini. Laid up with Asians that no tongue fool, getting blue when I got the call from young Drew. He was speaking the Islamic, but I can understand it. He said, Al Bubu, the eagle has landed. My reply, Pranto, cousin, execute stage two, put the turkey in the oven. For those who don't know, that means he got the blow. And it's time to turn the blow into Modo. Sell him high, buy him low, let him fly, let him go. Birdies of the snow, straight from Valley Joe. Who got it? Nigga Drew got it. And if you hit him on the hip, he'll make sure that you got it. Me and my team, we trying to win. And we keep it mafioso. You hit a violin. Okay. I love this one. Come on. I'm the yay boy, the playboy from the bay boy, where I stay boy, we don't be puffing no hay boy, with my son head lay boy, I protect with the K boy, running my home and get sprayed boy, young Drew and Mac Dre boy, the yay don't play boy, I'm a made boy, highly connected spit flame boy, I'm a paid boy, blazing aid all day boy, never change, I'm the same, so fuck what you say boy, I'm not afraid boy, take it from wax to gun play boy, run away boy, shaking the blades and gay boys, moving bricks boy, chopping down kicks the picks. Boy, weighing zips, boy, taking them trips for chips, boy, capping okay. wits, boy, floss cross by chicks, boy, making hits, boy, fuck with the mob right. and get split, boy, loaded and lit, boy, and true as the shit, boy, from a fix to a bitch, we trying to get rich, boy. <laughs> fuck yeah, Baba. Uh. Sounds like a plan, bro. Come on. I'm <laughs> my snakes with freaks on the beach with shallow I'm stuck beach. drinking Ernest and Julio Gallo I got my Rallo, my butterfly knife I'm not nice, I cut a guy twice All of my life, I followed the path of a D-boy, B-boy Half cash, they laugh, got game like Bob Costas Got dread like rosters, eating seafood sauce Put over pastas, you and pastas get tried for treason To the nation of Islam, is my allegiance Ride a grievance, file a complaint Plain. Tell them Dre doing things that the mother guys came Burning rubber all day Driving reckless I cut a man throat Give a man a bloody necklace Cutty they respect this Cause they have to My niggas mafioso You prick they'll whack you Something like that. Yeah, Bubba. All these uh, live reacts get recorded, and I'm saving them for uh, when I can't record and upload. Like in November, there's an entire week that I take off. And this will be perfect for that. Songs of Jam. Now we got X rated.
fatal blow. Next song is Fatal Blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black Mark. No, I go up north yeah, for uh, firearm season. Firearm deer season. Nobody pumping hollow hot slugs. Your body. Who could fuck with my thugs? Nobody pumping hollow hot slugs. Your body. Who could fuck with my thugs? Nobody pumping hollow hot slugs. Your body. We pass the microphone back and forth like chronic. Twisted linguistics, no English, just Spanish and the bonnets. Criminalistic thug love, and the damn thing changed in motion. Kicking potent shit that fucks up brains. Now I'ma elaborate with verse one. First we collaborated and built a bomb. Now it's time to detonate it. A nigga, we kicking America's ass like. Vietnam, nationwide being bumped from Cali to Kingdom Come. X-rated to veteran in this North Cal G rap field. Decapitate motherfuckers with this lyrical sword. I will medieval on that ass. Chop off your tongue, put out your teeth. You'll never rap again. Fuck up your voice like DOC. Cause X-rated don't play no games, but them deadly cons. Lyrical combat, release the verbal acrobatics from a deadly mind. I fuck with felons and people with major melanin. And all of the remainders get hit with the automatic flame. And now tell me who can fuck with my love. He's fucking intense. Check it out, dude. I go no low with the fix drive when I ride it to do for die. Creep on your spot and blow it up like the cage in the rock. Quick to get the gauge and cock your blast off like rockets from NASA. Bullets like pits on that ass to make Michael Johnson from faster. Smashing bullshit like matadors. Run up, nigga Toro. Sail lay with you, kitchen the floor. With holes in your torso, you better duck. We coming deep in seven, seven regions. Blowing up, nigga stomach like feet. Now we sell to the seagulls and we take flight like eagles. When it's time to get that ass, I'm lyrically harder than an escape attempt from Alcatraz. Think you can win? Come and try me. I have you in our ICU with gasoline up in your IV. I light a match and put it up under your nose and there you get a breathe. Kaboom, birds all over the room because your stupid ass knees squeeze the oh. trigger on the mental phone. He folded, I pack. No retreat, no surrender with black market attacks. Deliver the fatal flow. Who can fuck with my love? Nobody. Pumping hollow hot slugs. In your body. Tell me who can fuck with my love? Nobody. Pumping hollow hot slugs. In your body. Yes, who can fuck with my love? A banger. Bulging thumb, thank you, bro. To your witcher, O Valley of Plenty, O Valley of Plenty. I just put in your name. Old, old caper part four. Little bitch. 
punk shit. It's like that. He's nothing but a sucker. He's nothing but a bitch. Listen to this pimpin' tip. One more time. Here we go. Coco Kappa, part four. Coming at... Dude, they, uh, they're all going to a new microphone. The, in like... I can't remember exactly. It's like 9.30 or something like that all together for the entire setup. Because, like, the one that I use is a USB microphone. This one is a totally different setup. And it, they're like, they need two types of different uh, different types of equipment to go with them. And it's, it's just this whole thing. Uh, but we almost have enough. We, uh, I just... I think I'm getting paid on the 21st. Uh, I thought I was getting paid on the 1st, but I guess I didn't know the date that YouTube issues payments. Uh, but I'll let you guys know if, like, w like when I order the microphone and everything, you know. To this One more time. Here we go. Coco Kappa, part four. Coming at Bruce and the click. All them fools can suck my dick. I'm a rap real slow so you can understand me. Talk real bad about your crippled grand. Your crippled grand, she ain't tripping. The bitch doing things in the Special Olympics. The wheelchair queen, yeah, that's the cap. I'm oh, a that bitch tire on the flat. You fucked up, Bruce, coming at me. Now I'm fist to S-I-G. You mixed breed, Korean and black. Is your mama in the kitchen cooking dogs and cats and punk? Where's your dad? You fucked up, bitch. You made me mad. I know some things about Vietnam. That's where yo daddy met your mom. Fuck that chick when the war was on. But yo daddy didn't make it home. Yeah, you see? Yeah, you know. This is Coco Kappa, part four. And sucker, you can't fuck with this. And none of them niggas in the cut was this. So damn dope when I'm in my Chevrolet. Bumpa Coolio, cause a click I never play. Little bitch, man, you blew it. Down and dirty. Cause it's a war game, huh? You wanna thump? Let me pop my trunk. 
Cause I'ma shoot up a nigga from the field. That's on the real. When I say funk, I mean kill. Fuck fighting and fussing. I'm igniting and busting the cap. That's why I'm rolling through your hood by myself. Sap signing your name on a car. What is you a star? Nigga, motherfucker, who you are? Little Bruce, little bitch, it's all the same to me. Uh -huh. you like what you claim to be. I'm taking your hoes in your life real soon. Like, so watch with a drive by and hop in the moonlight. It's 91, son. Seasons change. A spot by your father gon' be arranged. Can't even talk right. Don't even walk right. I'm sick with the shit when I hit cause I stalk like a real motherfucking ass nigga. I should get bigger. Wasn't tripping on the phone, but now it's on. Some, some, some. Line through. Check it, check it, check it. Okay, let's ride through the villa. Little bitch, man. Think he's a killer. Got your ball cap tight so you can hide your face. I seen your ugly ass bitch, boy, you got no taste. You can't fuck with me. Pressing your luck would be committing suicide. On my behalf, it's a homicide. Got caught slipping by Kilo Kurt. Said you pay for his low so you wouldn't get hurt. But I'm not the one for the seeking. I'm all about digging up in ya. Fool, I'ma see it to the graveyard. Cause nigga, I slave hard. And I'ma die hard. And then try hard to find you. So I can get behind you and fuck you up the ass. And after that bash up and date you, the bitch you were stressing on the play bank. Come on, killer, you got to come realer than that. I'm the Mac, cause I see your bitches on their back. Getting hit by me, kid. C double O L I O is a loaster. Half breed, scary ass, baby face, joster. Things gon' change, but shit'll be rearranged. Little bitch, man, you shouldn't have came at the crest. Now it's a mess, cause you wanna impress all them sucker ass niggas that's against the crest. You're down south, but I got the shit that they feed it for. The phone for zone if you get seen in your 68 Falcon. The shit I'm talking is legit, but not the click. So little bitch, suck dick. What's up, dang brother? There ain't no other like me. Strike one, strike two, strike three. Ooh. I know I just felt that so wrong. Shut All right, we got a rompography too, and then we'll get to yours, Connor. And then I think we're gonna uh, call it on the live reacts and the stream after that. Appreciate you guys. I really do. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. More than just this and doing it big together. See me and Mac Dre, we really live together. And after Dre passed, they raided our houses and took everything from computers to couches. Green Haven on the lake, that's the spot. Back when Melly Mel hit a mill on slots And G Parkway was going ham and sack And some terrible was Thiz dancing next to the Mac Eyes in the background packing a squirter And Dre was on his sack shit macking and murder And after Dre died I hopped straight on the plane Went to KC and got to doing my thing I tapped in with niggas who I felt was official And Rich sent Slick through to bring me a pistol Had a meeting with the Cuddies who was rocking with Dre Then they jumped on the plane and got back to the bay I decided to stay Cause see I'm a shooter 
I need another hitter, so I called in Duna. And we is on the mission trying to catch you. Hey, I appreciate you, I'm a Jose. My KC fitted. I hit Fat Tone and we scheduled a meeting. He say Diggs, I ain't do it, and I really believe him. But I steady pressing and asking him questions. Felt he was innocent, and now it's a blessing. And I just kept searching and looking for clues and names of the niggas I was looking to shoot. Couple leads came through, I followed them up. Pulled up a few places, tried to swallow them up. But nothing panned out, I was chasing the goose and swore I wouldn't leave without facing the truth. I'm riding around Kansas with this big ass cannon and passing out bullets like I'm young Rich Gannon. It was never personal with KC Mo. I just wanna know who had hit my bro. See, I still hurt and fighting reality. My best friend was gone and this was a tragedy. When I made it back home, shit was different. 2004 had a miserable Christmas, had a brand new president. They brought in Bush and this brand new weed, they was calling it Kush. Still no leads, but the streets was talking and a few more niggas got put in the coffin. And then I got the call, Fat Tone was hit. And I felt hella bad, cause he ain't do that shit, and I knew that shit. He told me over the phone, and I'ma set the record straight. It wasn't Fat Tone. With Dre being gone, and Don in prison, me and Kilo had to make some decisions. It wasn't no mystery, we owed it to Dre. So Thiz E and T became the heart of the bay. It started with the rider, Doobie and Diggs. I would say the driver, but that nigga a pig. And that's some other shit, and I'ma touch on that. How this nigga went to jail and got the fuck on back. But back to 05 when the nation was running things We signed Mr. Fab, Babgate, and the money team I did some bullshit and invested my peoples Introduced a group from the crest to creepers It was Shig, Boss, Hog, Beijing, and Thrax But Thrax dropped out, so we brought in rap And me and my crew was really living it out Did some real fly shit, I let them live in my house And we was rocking shows all across the globe And everywhere I went, I used to take my hoes On a money mission, really chasing my riches In the studio, I was breaking my bitches It's a brand new movement, and this is it Now them bank robbing crash niggas big as shit It was still flip phones, wasn't no Bluetooth We was on MySpace, it wasn't no YouTube Had some black cars, and I ain't gon' name them But I gross rode the range, and I made that famous My story all facts, I ain't lied so far And I'm the first man to ghost ride a car It started off with Critty Bo walking the car Then I invented something new and jumped on top of the car The hype he moved It started 04 With 2006, 40 jumped on board He shot tell me when to go and that was live as shit He like digs, come through and ghost ride your whip So I slid on through and I brought my crew Pulled up in the range and jumped right on the roof And you can see it in my swag, mama burped the star I had the whole fucking world trying to surf a car It was me and Yuck Mouth down in Miami Beach That's when I got close to Blue Da Vinci and Meech The push was on Jeezy, BMF behind him And a couple months later, Def Jam had signed him But Meech didn't like that and neither did Blue Cause you can kinda tell that he was leaving the crew But Blue was up next trying to fill the spot On his independent grind with a deal from Koch Meech was in jail, so Blue was the core That's when he hit me about doing this tour I told him let's do it cause my grind is quick It was me, BMF, and about six of my bitches We started in Detroit at the Super Bowl It was 2006, it was super cold We did black college Dude, I remember when the Super Bowl came to Detroit And they spent months cleaning the city up before the Super Bowl Week, Virginia Beach slid through the shy and hit NYC. We hit hot 97 for a hip hop drop. That's when we got stopped by them hip hop cops. We in a big blue bus with BMF on the side. We knew they was coming, so we dressed for the ride. And the bus was clean, cause we ain't no dummies. And they ain't find no guns, just a bunch of money. Had to let us go, and we kept on pushing. All-Star Weekend, we headed to Houston. We a couple days early, so we stopped in Dallas. Pulled the bus right up to Big Meech White Palace. Sheriffs pulled up and started making the fuss. Something about we smoking and they taking the bus. Now we need another tour bus to get back trapping. We got three days and Blue made that happen. We hit Miami Spring Bling and ATL. Then Baby Blue left the tour and he got killed. 22 cities and we did that straight. Had one more stop and it was straight to the bay. Yep, so we proceeded to Vallejo Funds running low so Blue needed my help 
Brand new indictments, they just had dropped. So I let Blue and Crew come and stay at my spot. Then the feds came through and Blue caught that case. I did some real nigga shit and went straight to the A. Saw him on the visit and left him some bread. Told my Georgia bitch to go and give him some head. I was back in Vegas when he hit my line. Said he just went to court and he got his time. So now me and Blue talking in my three-way beat. It's Baby J, he say Meech want a three-way me. So Meech click in, we begin to chat. He say, Diggs, I love Blue, but the nigga's a rat. To be continued. Oh, shit. That one was almost as good as the first one. The first one was fucking amazing, dude. Hello, Jude. How are you doing? Oh, geez. By the one, two, three is the name. How are you doing today, Jude? Appreciate you dropping in, saying what's up. All right, this is gonna be the last uh, one. Drunk. I made the beat when I was drunk, though. I made the beat when I was drunk, though. Uh, I didn't fucked around and hooked Midtown up with Arbor Road. Uh, Y'all don't know me. My name TC. One and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the three and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and ass back is back on the team bitches and niggas they trying to keep me for the green brothers on my nuts cause they just too blind blind to the mind of a nigga on the ground I start reeling and feeling trying to serve. Step up to the mic and got loose with the verse. Didn't understand on the way that I was maxing, relaxing, and taxing. And nigga seen action. Told me the first time, let me you be served. Didn't believe me, you got your manhood took it. When I hit the hot spot, I told you, man, it gets hot. Now you know that shit has just start cooking. Certain competition for you niggas who be tripping. Talk behind my back, I caught that ass slipping. You was on a mission doing that, you kept sleeping. Victim of a homicide and act. Sleep behind my back, you got spooks in the gap Girls at your eyes and on your wish and you can scat Screaming to the Mac 10, begging me for mercy But I'm going to Stokes and I'm out One, and it comes to two to the three and three And it comes to two to the one and one And it comes to two to the three and three And it comes to two to the one and one And it comes to two to the three and three And it comes to two to the one and one And it comes to two to the three The villain on the under, rapping correctly with no beats and no types of blunders. Hitting like a storm or a hurricane. Keeping niggas slipping from the sleep and the poor rain. Bouncing the rap like O's, the sticky lows. Getting so rich, I'm changing my name to Mr. C. No, cause like Nike, niggas wanna do it, but it was already done. So get a boot to the wheels. And if not, niggas getting strangled, bodies dangled, thrown in a truck, cut up at mango. I smoke bank though, spark up the flame, hope a straight 92 or RBL and on sang single. I stand alone in a motherfucking ghetto, where niggas say what's up, and never saying hello. So what do I do? To whom do I turn? Will the cops ever catch me, or will I get burned? But don't worry, keep your pockets on fat, and never tell a groupie bitch who you gonna jack. And don't say Mr. C told you, cause killers don't talk shit, they get over. One, and it comes to two to the three and three, and it comes to two to the one and one, and it comes to two to the three and three, and it comes to two to the one and one, and it comes to two to the three and three, and it comes to two to the one and one, and it comes to two to the three and three, and it comes to two to the one and Midtown Productions coming up in this Mac game, sporting the sack, not a rag or a fat chain. But where I grew up is just like a war zone. Seem like niggas in the hood got their colors on. 
I stay colorblind cause I grew up with these fools Me and most of these niggas mobbed the old school He wouldn't cross me, I thought, cause I knew him Now next time I see him, I'ma have to shoot him I keep my bub on to keep from being nervous Can't hey, dodge, dude. they just might serve us I got my Glock on my side, ready for the drama Can't even roll through the set with my mom. The police won't leave me alone They bringing up evidence so they can run in my Jones My music's doing good so I gotta watch out for young brothers My life is a scene out of colors The brother down the street lives like Nino Brown Till the one time kicked his mama dough down He wasn't there, he was docked at a motel His mama got her house took but oh well but he's a ball and cat, he said he would help her So she's wearing silk and leather in a homeless shelter God gives you life, then your life is torn That's how it is when you're living in a ghetto storm That dude's delivery was really weird comes to two, to the three, and three And it comes to two, to the one, and one And it comes to two, to the three, and three And it comes to two, to the one, and one And it comes to two, to the three, and three And it comes to two, to the one, and one And it comes to two, to the three Stepping up last, but a nigga not least. It's the black seat, nigga, suckers on peak. Barbio posse, lounge around and count cheese. Bitches on the dick, get a grip, cause you're howdy. Can't you understand it? Shit is simple and plain. My niggas in the house by the name of Insane. And the nigga TC, bitch, the nigga's kinda clever. Hooked up the beat and had us niggas come together. We ain't got time for the niggas with the drama. I'll lay you across my lap and spank that ass like your mama. The big nine do stop drama clock duck it. So we can roll benzos, beamers, not buckets. This goes to your hoes, too, straight on the plot. Setting niggas up and trying to get in for his knots. Scandalous ass bitches out there scheming like demons. You better get a grip for your ass, kiss the semen. We already going through the maze, put by the white men. Then your black women want to give them a hand. I can give a fuck, I can still do the switch up. Switch up on a bitch quick, so hope crush your luck. I just better yet go get the millimeter. Setting niggas up dirty, ho, I don't need ya. Then I kick back to steady count my G's. RBL and insane, count them one, two, three. One, and yeah, it comes the two to it. the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one and one and it comes the two to the three and three and it comes the two to the one that one was good dude that that guy that guy who went like third i think he almost he almost threw it off for me but that one was that one was very awesome the beat was incredible on that one dude um i want to say i want to take a moment to say thank you to all the homies who donated today connor golden thumb baba everybody who showed up and said what's up during this stream connor golden thumb jude mf jose bubba uh who else do we have in here little penguin gonzalo otaku kun spyro joe gabriel uh or gabriel uh alex og og was here for a minute b dub was here mark Johnny, I appreciate all you guys hanging out with us. It's been a long, <laughs> it's been a long stream. It's almost seven o'clock. We started at like one twenty, I think. So, not really seven hours, but almost seven hours. Um, I appreciate you guys dropping by. I hope to see you at the next one. You all have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.